वन काम थ्री ब्यूटाडाइन एंड बेंजीन ओके सो फस्ट वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट वन काम थ्री ब्यूटाडाइन सो वन काम थ्री ब्यूटाडाइन सो वन काम थ्री ब्यूटाडाइन इज ए कॉन्जुगेटेड डईन स्टूडेंट सो मीन आलटर्नेटिव पाई बॉन्ड्स आर प्रसेंट सो हियर यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस कॉम्पौंड इज सी हेच टू डबल बॉंड सी हेच सिंगल बॉंड सी हेच डबल बॉंड सी हेच टू सो दिस इज वन काम थ्री ब्यूटाडाइन हियर यू कैन सी द डबल बॉंड प्रेजेंट एट फर्स्ट कार्बन एंड द डबल बॉंड प्रेजेंट एट थर्ड कार्बन सो दैट्स वाई इट इज वन काम थ्री ब्यूटा सो टू फाइव बॉंड्स आर देर सो दैट्स वाई इट इज ब्यूटा डईन ओके राइट सो इन दिस वन काम थ्री ब्यूटा डईन स्टूडेंट आल द कॉर्बन ऐटम्स आर एक्सीबिट एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज कॉर्बन ऐटम सो दिस इज आलो एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज कॉर्बन ऐटम सो दिस इज आलो एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज कॉर्बन ऐटम सो ऐज एर्ली वी डिस्क सो हाउ द एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइज आर्बिटा आर् फार्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस आलरे वी डिस्क सो हियर वी विल डिस्क हाउ द कंस्ट्रक्ष आफ् मालिकुलर आर्बिटा डयाग्रम आफ वन काम थ्री ब्यूटा डईन ईज टेक्स प्लेस वी विल सी ओके रईट सो हियर यू कैन सी स्टूडेंट सो हियर वी हेव वन पी जेड आर्बिटा वन पी जेड आर्बिटा वन पी जेड आर्बिटा हियर सो दी पी जेड आर्बिटा आर् हन हईब्रिड पी जेड आर्बिटा ईज प्रसेंट इन ईच एंड एव्री कॉर्बन ऐटम सो दी अन हईब्रिड इज पी जेड आर्बिटा ई विल रईट हियर सो दिस ईज द I will write here. So this is the unhybridized PZ orbital. One, two, three, and four. So these are the unhybrid. This is the C1 carbon, C2 carbon, C3 carbon, C4 carbon. So here we have so unhybridized, unhybridized PZ carbon. Okay. So I will cover with the. Uh, I am shading with the above lobes. So these are the lobes are shaded. so here also these lobes are shaded so these lobes are shaded so you can assume so this is the positive sign positive sign positive sign positive sign so this is the negative sign negative sign just you can assume right so these are the lobes of uh, uh, p orbitals of one comma three beta di right so how we will construct uh, these pi molecular orbital of 1 comma 3 beta diene so here as per your convenience students what we will do so you can divide into two parts so you can divide into two parts means what student here you can classify you can divide into two parts that is uh, here this is one set and this is one set and another set you can take so this is another set student so in this set what you will do so the two lobes are same side the two lobes are above the plane here the two lobes are above the plane here so one is one shaded is above the plane and here the another shade is below the plane so you can take like this manner after the classify after the uh, the dividing of these two types of set of orbital then you can what you will do so you can add it you can add it addition these two type of orbitals and then you can do subtraction once you can do the addition process and another time you can do the subtraction process so then you will get the two types of orbital pi 1 and pi 2 orbitals you will get so here also we can do so this the same set you can do the subtraction and addition you can do so in this case we will get the pi 3 star and pi 4 star we will get right i will do uh, i will do the uh, thing here you can see so here this is i am doing the addition overlapping means nothing but construction overlapping so in this construction overlapping student here you can see this is the lowest energy construction so this is the overlapping so here this is the lobe 2 3 and 4 so these are the lobes student so this is the c1 carbon c2 carbon here you can see this is the c1 carbon the blue color is i am showing so this is the c1 carbon so here this is the c1 carbon c2 carbon c3 carbon and c4 carbon here so the same lobes you can assign here so here i am doing the addition process so this is we can called as a constructive overlapping so here you can see the interaction between these two orbital c1 and c2 
the interaction between C2 and C3, the interaction between C3 and C4. So, here there is no nodal plane as already we discussed at the lower energy level. So, this is the potential energy. So, this is the potential energy. So, here the potential energy increases from top to bottom. So, this is the lowest energy. So, in this lowest energy level, so there is no nodal plane. There is no nodal plane. Clear student. Here, how many bonding interactions are there? So, here the three bonding interactions are there. So, three bonding interactions. So, these three bonding interaction between C1 and C2, C2 and C3 and C1 and C4. So, here the bonding interactions are C1 and C2, C2 and C3 and C3 and C4. So, here we have the four bo three bonding interaction. So, is there any number of zero no uh, nodal plane? So, here so zero nodes. Here zero nodes are present. Right. Clear student. Here. How many pi electrons we have? So, here it has two pi bonds. In 1 comma 3 beta diene we have two pi bonds. So, two pi bonds means nothing but four pi electrons. So, these two pi electrons, these two pi electrons here you can see. So, these two pi electrons. So, the two pi electrons. So, this is pi 1. So, this is we can called as bonding molecular orbital pi 1. So, the two electron is placed into the lower energy level only. Okay, right. So, then so what we are doing? So, once you can take the same overlapping the same sign. So, this is 1, 2. So, these two orbital you can take with the same sign student. So, here you can take the same sign same overlapping. Then the next two orbitals you can take with reverse means you are going to do so subtraction. So, this is addition. So, this process is addition. This process is addition or so we can call it as in phase overlapping in phase overlapping in phase overlapping or we can call it is a constructive overlapping constructive overlapping constructive overlapping or addition so but here what we are doing so this is a destructive overlapping here so another p orbital i am writing here so another p orbital so we know very well so this is the c1 carbon c2 carbon c3 carbon c4 carbon the next p orbital here i am taking i am showing with the different color here you can see so this is the different color i shown here so you can see the two lobes are shaded and here the two lobes are here the two lobes are the shaded lobes are in bottom and here the shaded lobes are in above the plane here so the, the bonding interaction between c1 and c2 here the bonding interaction between c3 and c4 here so there is no bonding interaction between c2 and c3 so here we have one nodal plane okay so here we have one nodal plane so here how many bonding interactions are student so two bonding interactions are there so these two bonding interactions in between the two bonding interaction between c1 and c2 and c3 and c4 and one nodal plane how many nodal planes are there student how many nodes are there one node is there right so this is the another energy level student so this is another energy level here also the two electrons are there so according to this here so one is upward direction another one is downward direction so this is pi 2 b m o so this is the energy barrier so this is the energy barrier student so this is the lowest energy level so this is the lowest energy level but the electrons are completely occupied in this level so this level so we are calling as homo this lever we are calling as homo homo means what student highest occupied highest occupied molecular orbital so what is student highest occupied molecular orbital okay right so then this case is over so this case is over so this is addition overlapping in phase overlapping or we can call as constructive overlapping so in subtraction is takes place we can call it is a destructive overlapping i will write over here right so then i will take these two orbital these two orbitals are over then i will take these two orbital right here so i will write the two orbitals one two 
here what i am doing student so first i will do the subtraction then the next case i will do the addition process first i will do the subtraction the next case i will do the uh, i will do the addition process okay so subtraction means nothing but student first i will write the, all the pr bitals after that i will shade right here you can see one is shaded here this is another unshaded so sorry this is bottom one is shaded here so you can flip it so the orbital is flip it here we are doing subtraction so subtraction means nothing but subtraction subtraction or so we can called it is destructive destructive dis destructive overlapping destructive overlapping here so you can flip these p orbitals if you flip the p orbital the shaded the above is shaded here it comes like this here it is the bottom one is here clear so this one is above one so this is the above one here how many phases are how many nodes are there we will calculate here student so there is no bonding interaction because shaded unshaded here also shaded shaded is there here we have one bonding interaction so between c2 and c3 here we have one bonding interaction here so unshaded shaded so here so we will get two nodal planes over here so this is the two nodal planes the nodal plane is present c1 c2 and c3 c4 how many bonding interactions are there student one bonding interaction is there how many nodal planes are there so two nodes are there how many nodes are there two nodes are there right so this is the another energy level student so this is the another energy level so this energy energy level is pi star ab mo so means uh, anti bonding molecular orbital so this is uh, here in this case there is no electrons all the four electrons are filled in the lower energy level only so this energy orbital we can called as lumo so lumo means what student so lowest unoccupied lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so this is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so generally if we apply some amount of energy so what will happen so one of these electron excited from here to here so means the electron transition is possible the electron transition is possible from homo level to lumo level only okay clear student so this is the pi 3 star it is anti bonding molecular orbital okay right so next i will finish the fourth set of orbital so that is here i am doing addition process student 1 2 3 and this is 4 this is 4 here so i am doing addition process addition process means nothing but so you can write as it is the lobes 1 2 1 2 here you can see student here you can see there is no bonding interaction so if there is no bonding interaction means nothing but nodal plane will be present here also there is no bonding interaction means one nodal plane will be present here there is no bonding interaction so means here how many nodal planes are there student here the three nodal planes are there here how many bonding interaction so zero bonding interaction so means in higher energy level so there is no bonding interactions are there so in this higher energy level the more number of nodes are there so means as potential energy is increases so here the number of nodes will be increases and the bonding interaction between carbon and carbon will be decreases okay clear student so this is the another energy level so that is pi star ab mo so this is the construction of molecular orbital energy molecular orbital diagram of 1,3 buta diet clear student here in this lower energy level we have three bonding interaction in higher energy level we have zero bonding interaction in lower energy level we have zero nodes and in higher energy level we have three nodes so means as the potential energy increases the bonding interactions will be decreases as potential energy increases the number of nodal planes will be increases so this is the molecular orbital diagram of 1,3 buta tie is that clear student right thank you